Treasurer, budget all about jobs. How many are you expecting to create through these spending measures? Around a million new jobs over the next few years is Treasury's estimate as to what will be created across the economy. And importantly, Koshi, there's a counterfactual in the budget that without these particular measures, the unemployment rate would have been 12% this year and 12% next year. Instead, it's expected to peak at 8% at the end of this year, get down to 7.25% next year and then gradually decline after that. So this budget is all about jobs, helping younger people, helping senior Australians, uh, helping families and obviously backing small business with an unprecedented wave of investment support. Yep. Let's talk about the tax cuts first up. The plan is that households will, will spend the money, which in turn helps businesses so they can hire more people, mm -hmm. and make profits and pay tax on it. Um, but how do you encourage people to spend those tax savings instead of save them in, in this current climate? Well, the first thing is it's not for me to tell your viewers uh, how they should best spend their money. It's their money and they will have their own priorities. But the savings ratio has increased as a function of what's happened with the health restrictions. People haven't been able to go to their local cafe or to their local restaurant or to their favourite holiday destination because of those health restrictions. But as we have success in suppressing the virus and those restrictions are eased, more people will spend. And that is the expectation over right. the coming months uh, with these tax cuts. And these tax cuts alone will create 50,000 new jobs. How will we get them? Because they're, they're backdated to the 1st of July. So Will we That's see right. the impact in our next pay or will we have to wait to, for a bigger refund in 10 months' time? Well, the tax office have told us that they can update the schedules uh, over the coming weeks once they are confident that it will receive bipartisan support to get right. through the parliament. And early, and early signs are that that is the case. So the expectation is that the money will flow into people's pockets uh, before the end of the year to be spent across the Christmas period. But if you're on $60,000, you will pay $2,160 less okay. in tax as a result of our economic tax I understand plan. that. So, so there will be a catch-up before Christmas. So almost in December, you may pay no tax for, for that month's pay. Well, I, I, I wouldn't say no tax. Yeah, there, there will continue to be um, a, yeah, yeah, a tax no, but uh, burden I mean, you're gonna, on you're Australians, gonna, you're but you will get the tax You're going to catch up worth. six months' worth all in one month before Christmas. Oh, well, the way the tax system and the tax office operates is that earlier um, six months uh, will be uh, rebated back to you at the end of oh, the so in your financial refund. year. Because, right. and, and the reason being, Koshi, as you would understand, is people's income would have fluctuated over the, uh, over the previous months as a result of COVID. But going forward, they'll be up, able to update those schedules and that money will flow into people's pockets okay. uh, once, once that is done. So and next July in. or August? Well, they will get, no, they will get some benefit uh, but before the end of this year and then they'll get more benefit All next right. year. All right. OK. I, I want to get, get this straight. So, so the tax cuts on a monthly basis will will be reduced or, or your tax payments reduced by December and then for every month after that. Correct. But the five months Correct. that it's been backdated that you've got to catch up, you won't get until July or August next year. You got it. When you right. put in your tax return okay. uh, for, the, uh, for, the, for the 2021 year. All right. Now, what about businesses that make a loss this year and can offset it against previous year's profits? Uh, so that will get a, a, a real cash injection as well. Will that have to wait yeah. until they put their tax the company tax return in in July or August next year as well? Not if they've made a loss in the 1920 year, and that's important because obviously we've been living with restrictions, Koshi, uh, over over the course of this year uh, from from very early on. So businesses that were previously profitable 
that made a loss in the 1920 year can carry that back uh, to profits all the way back to, to what were, were made in the 1819 year. So I'll give you a good example. If you're a business that made a million dollar loss in 1920, but in the previous uh, year you, uh, you paid um, $3 million in tax and you had a 30% tax rate, then you will get a $300,000 tax refund uh, from the Australian Tax Office. That's money that you can go and invest in equipment, that's money that you can spend on your employees, that's money that you can churn through the economy. So normally, as you would appreciate, Koshi, you can't use your losses to yep. offset profits until you turn a one. Yep. But now we're saying you can carry it back. Okay. That's going to be really helpful to businesses. Treasurer, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Oh, always good to be.